I was touring again. I'd done a lot of solo stuff, and then I decided I was gonna take a band to New Mexico and Colorado, and it was just another instance where it just didn't turn out the way I'd hoped, and I lost money, and I lost face, and I came home just kind of defeated and just ready to hang it up. And of course, my wife stepped in like she always does and encouraged me not to give up and to just keep going. She really believes that if I keep pushing, I'm gonna make it somehow. I think I'm starting to believe that too. didn't turn out the way I saw it in my head Not ready to throw in the towel or give up just yet I never said I thought it would be easy I guess I don't know what I thought But I know I've paid with all these mistakes For the lessons that I bought I've been unhappy before And I know that it'll pass These feelings come on so strong But they never last I don't know how to shake it but I know I'll make it Somehow Somehow Need to learn how to live outside of my own head I've had my fair share of being down and full of regret I never said I thought it would be easy But I finally know what I want To live in a place of genuine thanks for everything I've got and I've been unhappy before and I know that it'll pass these feelings come on so strong but they never last I don't know how to shake it but I know I'll make it Somehow Somehow Sometimes things don't turn out the way we think they're going to. I think I think too much. Expectations can really rob us of that joy that's found in every moment. I once heard it said, regret stems from the thought that the past could somehow be different. We make choices and life unfolds. I should be thankful for every aspect of my life, the good and the bad. I mean, after all, isn't the point to learn something while I'm here? I feel like if I learn something, then I can change. And if I change, then I'll grow. 
So I started thinking about the symbolism of baptism. That idea of being washed and reborn and getting the chance to start over. I've had to start over so many times in my life. I think that we all want atonement for things in our lives. We've all said and done things that we wish we could take back and that's what baptism is about, is a renewal or a rebirth. I think it's something that you kind of have to do every day in your heart. I love the idea of the clean slate, you know, starting over. For me, forgiveness is often that starting point. Forgiving myself will allow me to forgive others. You can't make it in this world without forgiveness. And I was staring into this sunset and it really, in that moment, dawned on me that everything on the planet, the only way it survives is if that sun survives. And I began to realize, like, we're all made up of the same thing. We're all the same thing. And someday we'll go back to that.
came here from the sun came here from the sun that is where i'm going when all my work is done came here from the sun came here from the sun that is where i'm going when all my work is done and I'm telling everyone telling everyone that is where i'm going all my work is done and came here from the sun came here from the sun and that is where i'm going when all my work is done and i came here from the sun i came here from the sun that is where i'm going when all my work is done and came here from the sun and i came here from the sun and that is where i'm going when all my work is done and i'm telling everyone telling everyone that is where i'm going when all my work is done and i came here from the sun and came here from the sun that is where i'm going Nowhere is defined as the quality or state of being mostly or completely unknown. If I had only known then what I know now, hindsight is always 2020. Boy, I sure didn't see that coming. These are expressions we hear almost every single day. But the word nowhere is made up of two words, now and here. Dwelling on the past or worrying about the future is the great distraction. What do I know right now? How well do I see the present moment? What is here is more important than what is coming. I am thankful that I am now here. I'm grateful for all that was, all that is, and all that will be, even if it does have the quality or state of being mostly or completely unknown. <laughs> 